All right, so let me tell you what's going on. It's been, uh, yeah, this turned into something. I was just gonna do some simple, simple. I, uh, I was backing out of here, you know? I was gonna do the U-joints, and then I had to go buy some more tools, so I put it back together. I did the U-joints up front. And then I was put it together, I was backing up out of the garage here, and the front, and back brake locked up and the pedal got stuck all the way to the floor and it all completely locked up wouldn't release so I was like all right so I bled the system the hydro their fucking hydraulic whatever system blah blah, blah. can't think right now it's just a lot but I bled the system foot pedal still wouldn't release Let me get a lot where's my light bar here we go. Not gonna let you look in there yet. But, so I took the booster off. I mean the cylinder, the master cylinder. And then I got a little punch in there and I took the lines off to relieve the pressure. Got a little punch in there and pap, 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 tried to, it moved a little bit. And then I was like, fuck it. And I was just gonna take the whole hydro booster off and once I got in here I was like man this floor is messed up I'm gonna take it out too just this part because I have new carpet for it so so I was like this floor is getting in, it was getting in the way is the thing and then hubba bow turns out it was destroyed underneath there because the friggin hydro booster was leaking everywhere it's up, it's up, the, the thing's up there if you can't see, right in the middle of the view there, right there, where the brake pedal goes, boom, yeah, well it was leaking, for a long time apparently, because I already vacuumed this up, but man, there's a fluid, and it was dripping on my step here, and I was like, what is that, it was ATF, because that's what they run in these, ATF plus four, if you're wondering, anyways, if you're gonna do that yourself, you got two lines here. You gotta take these lines out of the hydro booster, 18 millimeters. And then you gotta take your master cylinder off, a couple 14 millimeters, and a couple lines that are 12 millimeter. And then that'll pop off, spring loaded, so careful. That'll pop off and then go on the inside and some 15 millimeter bolts in there. You gotta get up in there and there's four of them. Got pow pow like that. Take those out and the bad boy will slide out once you disconnect it from the foot pedal, which is just a little clip. So it's pretty, it's really easy there. But I mean, well, since I was at it and I gotta replace the back left caliper because the bottom bolt on it is broken. Completely in the, thanks Zeus. This one was broken. And it was just fucking the, fucking the rotor up. You can see it just, you can see the freaking different. It just destroyed this. So I'm about to get a new one of those. And a new caliper. And new pads. And then I adjusted the parking brake, so that works now. But we're gonna just, I'm gonna tear everything out. Just gonna, fuck it. I'm just gonna tear all the seats out. Take this vinyl shit off. There were subs obviously in here one time because they left the wiring, they just snipped it. That was probably the dealership, they're fucking idiots. Because they're the ones that zip tied a broken caliper to the axle. That was some Gucci work. That shit was mint, very factory. And then uh, got the carpet over there. We're just gonna lay that fucking shit down. Fuck it, might as well. Like, hey, we're already balls deep, so yeah, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Okay, uh, some progress. Got some interior out. If you got these mamma jams that I have, it's gonna be just four screws here. And then the main box is held in by two Torx. I'm um, taking the back seats out currently. And you got one bolt here, one bolt back there. There's a seatbelt bolt. Well, there's seatbelt bolts in the middle. Yeah, so today's been a whole bunch of just kicking my ass, and, uh, 
we're just yeah so this is what we got just took the old vinyl off loosen these up because i'm gonna clean under them i took the middle one out um yeah just took seats out back seat taken out this trim here to hold on the carpet did all the bottom of the door seals pulled them out i'm gonna clean in there I haven't cleaned yet so but i just figured i'd show you just pulled it out it really took like 20 seconds to pull but but then we got the old new hardware rear pads old rotor fancy new one it's good new caliper that's okay new pump or a pump booster and uh we lost the seals on the way back so that's great i'm gonna find some seals around here for the lines so it's cool it's fine i'm fine and then i'm just gonna throw these brakes on i'm gonna clean the inside first and get the carpet laid out because it's gotta lay it's gotta lay down and form but i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna work on putting the, everything back together and then i gotta do the u joints so we're gonna send it if we Try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult If we, we try to be a negative bull yeah. We could be taking control yeah. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult If we, we try to be a negative bull yeah. We could be taking control yeah. show you guys while I was the old, hitting the old shot back on the thing you could tell this thing uh once upon a time the back glass was shattered because we got some tinted glass shatter shards around here bunch hiding back here I vacuumed a crap ton up over on the other side give you a look see oh this kind of stuff you get to see when you really dig into your trucks here well, this one's kind of dark over here but look at all that some nice shatter glass shards hanging around. Takes me back to when I wrecked my other truck. But yeah, we're gonna keep vacuuming and see how it goes. I got all shop backed. Everything is. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna get a some soap and a sponge. Try to clean all this up and get a towel and dry it out. And so I can lay the carpet down and get it formed. Uh, I'm gonna redo some of this wiring. I'm gonna retape it up so it looks nice. And I have peace of mind when I put the carpet in. And it's not a half-ass job because we don't need that anyways bam i cut my thumb too but that's all part of the old fun and i just took the old br these brackets out 
And I'm just gonna tape it up because you don't need those. Those are a recommendation. Just fancy stuff that we don't need. So I'm gonna get it back together and then I'm gonna put that freaking hydraulic booster on and the brake cylinder and do these freaking brakes so I can actually drive places. Also, I need seats. I need seats to drive, so I'm gonna put the seats in eventually. So, we're gonna get to it. All right, boom, update, and also I'll give you a little knowledge. But I got the uh, the back brakes are in. Bam, new stuff. Really dark out here, so I don't have my light on right now. But I got new pads on this side, new rotor and pads and caliper on that side because it was all fucked all the way till wednesday you know what i'm saying well fuck wednesday i don't know how you say it but anyways if you're putting a new booster in and or lines and or gearbox or power steering pump if you want to eat you want to know the good way the easy way to bleed it which I'm, you might know, whatever, just fun fact. I don't know, just, yeah, I'm just gonna let you know, but keep your reservoir full, it's in there. Keep that full and keep the cap off and then start your truck up. And since I was doing the brakes, you know, I was kind of yeah, skeptical, so I didn't fuck with the brakes and that's how they seized up anyway, so I wasn't really, I wasn't playing no games. So get your truck started and it runs through your power steering. So get your truck started Give the wheel a couple turns, wheel a couple turns, and the hydraulic fluid will feed through the lines, and it'll feed up into your power steering pump, and the air will come out of your reservoir, but make sure it's full, because you're not trying to suck air in, you're trying to get the air out, but you give the wheel a couple turns, couple turns, shut it off, make sure your reservoir is full, do it again, shut it off, make sure your reservoir is full, do it again, however many times you like, I think I did it three or four, but that's completely bled. Lines are full, power steering, reservoir is full, gearbox, all everything's full. It's good to go. Bolted in, doesn't leak. She's a gem. I did the brakes. I gotta fill this back up. But I did the brakes, I bled them. You know how it goes. You start from the farthest away, boom, boom, and then passenger driver, boom, boom, passenger driver. Boom, boom, passenger driver. How many times do you want? It's a process, it takes a while. Brakes, they're finicky, so, I mean, you want them. Fucking mint, so. Take your time, do a good job. It's late as hell. I still gotta put all this interior in and clean that up, but we're gonna do that anyways. We're gonna friggin' snip snap. I'm gonna clean it, grind it down a little bit, paint some places that I want, and, uh, Get that carpet laid down, let it sit, and then once it sits, I'm gonna burn my holes in because I don't want to cut the holes in. I think it just makes it look bad. Take like a punch, take a punch or a screwdriver, depending on how big the size of the hole is. Take a torch, heat it up, and just whoosh, it'll burn right through and cauterize a nice, beautiful hole in that carpet for you. Make it look real nice. You don't gotta worry about no fraying or nonsense, so we're gonna snap that up into place. And then it'll finally be on the freaking road again. I'm gonna have to do these U joints another day because that is gonna take a day, I swear. U joints in the axles. What a trip. You'll see, no worries. But we're gonna get that done. Brakes are complete. Brakes are done. Finally. That was such a big problem. But. Yeah, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it hard, hit the interior, really get that uh, interior cleaned up. A nice have a peace of mind and make sure all the wires are good because there were some access wires that somebody didn't take out because they had subs or something. I'm gonna put subs in, but they didn't take them out all the way. They just kind of cut them. And that's not good. You'll just drain power or some stuff. So I'm gonna get it done the right way because that's how we do it around here and safety first because we are all about the safety. All right, we'll get it. It's pretty late. We're gonna, all right, bye. 
Hot dog, got this first change of clothes, took some pre-workout, it's 2 a.m., it's no big deal. Literally, brakes are done, everything under the hood, snapped up, good to go, done completely. She's good, and I'm, gonna, I'm just dressing up this, putting on some wax coating here, because I bought some, like, petroleum wax, rust preventative, sealant, it's really good shit. Good quality, too, good price. Um, I do it on all my trucks because I like to keep them fresh up in these northern places, you know. But, boom. Wiping it down. Literally, the inside is all we have to worry about now. I'm going to get it wiped down, dress up some wires, get the carpet laid out. And I'm going to clean all these plastics while the carpet's settling. And kind of clean these seats up, too. I got a carpet cleaner, so... We're gonna do that and then got to put it all together because I got to drive it tomorrow so in the morning I got to go help some people so uh, we got to get this bad boy done the shop truck has to be going it's going if we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle it wouldn't be this difficult if we we try to be a negative bull yeah we could be taking control yeah if we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle it wouldn't be this difficult if we we try to be a negative bull yeah we could be taking control yeah So we gotta be safe around here. So I'll show you where we're at. We're making that progress. Hold on. There we go. Boom. So I touch up some spots where the screw holes were and got them uh, nice and coated. Everything else is freaking wicked clean. I redid some of the wiring so it's nice and neat and clean. I clean all the door seals. But got my light plugged in right now. Cleaned up, redid this wiring was terrible, so we redid that, cleaned all this out, just disgusting. Cleaned up the center area, and then so that's doing its thing, drying or whatever, whatnot. You got Zeus out here laying next to the new carpet, and I got it laid out really dark and I got all there's a bunch of the under floor stuff I gotta figure it out it's like math so I'll figure out how it flops in here and I'm gonna fucking get this shit tossed in and get to bit bamming and bamming you know what I'm saying so also I'm gonna clean these up make them real nice so we're so close if y'all like works in progress here we go boom we're molding it I don't know how. There we go. It's really dark. We got the vents cut out with the wires coming up over there. I gotta pull this one up. The shifter area is cut out. I did most of the tucking up under the dash. I'm waiting to do these sides until she lays out more. And just, you know, it's gonna need vacuumed a couple times because it is shit, but. I gotta put these holes in the back of this so I can hit those up. I already cleaned all the plastics. Oh yeah, I was gonna work on those boxes, but 
Yup. Um, yeah, I just gotta start busting it together. And once I fix the carpet down where I want it and make the holes, it's go time, baby. Update, it's morning time and I'm still awake, but we're almost done. <laughs> got the seats in, everything's cut and done. Just gotta throw the front seats in, and I do have to put these buckets in, so I'm gonna cut that out, but we're almost there. Yeah, baby, it's done. Been up for a good 27 hours straight. Had a pizza, but doesn't matter. Had a mission, got it done. I'm actually just throwing my new lug nuts on real quick. Nash big spikes, but. I'll give you the old grand tour, huh? Oh, it's locked. Yeah, it figures. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's pretty nice. Let me get the other side, it would be brighter. Very nice, clean, nice, vacuumed it, fresh, cleaned up a little bit, got the seats a little clean, but yeah, pretty happy with that, floor's not soaked in ATF anymore, and uh, the bricks work, <laughs> everything works now, so, except I gotta do the U joints. That's another day. I am uh, pretty beat. I'm just gonna throw these lug nuts on and then close up and uh, probably take a nap. So uh, let me know what you think. You got any new ideas? Let me know. Uh, I'm down for anything. It's fun. Not sometimes not great fun, but eh. It was a rough one today, so, but it was okay. Yeah, let me know. I'll see y'all later.